so beginning with multi-tenant architecture in general. Now, we do assume as a prerequisite for this lesson that we that we are familiar with multi-tenant architecture. I'm sure that all DBAs are aware that multi-tenant is not optional. Non-CDB is simply not supported in release 20. You have to convert when you upgrade. Many people, including me, uh, began the process of converting to multi-tenants with release 12.2. Studied it in 12.1, started the process of using it in 12.2. And I and many other people have never regretted that change. The benefits I saw back then when 12.2 first came out were to do with patching and cloning. Well, those benefits have got significantly better as we've gone through the releases. In the current release of particular importance, you can have three user-created pluggable databases without having to buy the license. And that's true in all editions, whether it's XE, SE2, Enterprise Edition, as long as you have no more than three user-created multi-pluggable multi databases, you do not need to buy the multi-tenant option, which of course isn't even available in standard edition. The other major enhancement I'm well impressed by is the refreshable clone capability. And that's what I want to talk about today.